Well, the future of elite competitive basketball isn't just for traditional athletes. The National Basketball Association is leading that next evolution of the sport by forming uh, an e-league, where league franchises, including the Pacers, will have real teams competing in the virtual world. Pleased to be joined now by Kelly Kroskoff, the president and general manager of the WNBA's Indiana Fever, but she's also heading up this new initiative for Pacers Sports and Entertainment. And Kelly, as always, welcome to the program. Thanks. This is a fascinating story. The NBA 2K, uh, 2K League uh, is what it's called. It, it's esports. First of all, the, the the market, the size of this esports, e it's, it's huge, right? The industry has significantly taken off in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, I think Goldman Sachs um, valued it at 500 million last year in a report that came out in March. So you're talking about a, a massive industry that's global, and the NBA 2K game has been around for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So if you probably know somebody that plays it, that is a game that 1.6 million people a day are playing that game. Wow. So you're, the, the opportunity is there, yeah. and um, um, we're excited to be a part of it. Well, you mentioned uh, eSports is a global uh, game. Uh, the NBA is a global game, so it seems to be a natural match. I guess that's the idea behind this. Fascinating to me. Describe how this is going to work, because a lot of the elements are the same as a tra a traditional. You've got a you've got a draft. How how how's it all going to work? You did so. If for anybody out there that's playing and understands the world of esports, and if you're playing the 2K game, um, essentially what will happen is we will field a team of five players. This is men, women. It doesn't matter. You know, the, the great thing about esports is that size, shape, gender mm -hmm. doesn't matter. If you're a great gamer, um, there'll be a draft that will be held that the league will actually have a play-in tournament for elite level players. I mean, we're going to have the best of the best in the world that will be playing this game. And um, so our opportunity to fill the team of five players that will play for the Pacers franchise. Okay. So 17, right now, 17 NBA teams are going to participate, including the Pacers, in this first uh, season. So you actually play, have a, have a league schedule. You've got five players. You're five. The Pacers five playing against... Boston Other five and, yeah. and it'll be played in a studio so um, when you see the game if it's um, if you're streaming the game or if it's going to be shown again a lot of things are still being worked out through uh, through the league but the, the great opportunity is that there'll be opportunities for fans to be involved to watch the game there's going to be merchandising opportunities we've already had sponsors that have contacted us that are interested yeah. in getting involved I mean this is groundbreaking this is yeah. this is um, a, another world that's going to take our brand and our game to a global um, young millennial audience. Right. That's the next generation of sports fans. Exactly. And if you are playing this game, you are interested, you think you can compete on a global level, you can, you can, try, you can out. try out. You can try out. You can, you can, you know, the league's going to, again, the league is going to host the, the play-in tournament to get into the draft pool. So we won't necessarily, as, a, as the Pacers team, won't be mm -hmm. signing individual players. So we will draft players from the pool that the league will be um, developing and, and have that play-in in the draft. And that will be sometime in, in mid-March. March. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this off camera, but the NBA certainly being proactive, taking a leadership role in this. The other leagues mm -hmm. ha have not yet. Part of that, I guess, the NBA is a global, very much a global game. And it that's is. You know, I mean, think about the, the opportunity. There's 34 million people in China that are playing the 2K game online. 34 million. Wow. And I mean, so there, that tells you right there the growth of basketball that's already happened from a global standpoint. And, you know, the NBA is, has been a leader in technology and innovation for quite a while. So yeah. we're thrilled to be a part of the inaugural season and be, you know, a part of a, a first franchise yeah. that, that's in a startup. Part, I know it's impossible for you to answer this but where do you see this going because 17 teams uh, starting out I would imagine that, uh, the other teams are going to want to jump on board too well yes I mean I, I think um, you know there was an opportunity for all 30 yeah. to, to get involved the first year and you know we're going to learn a lot this yeah. first year I think there's there's still a lot of unknowns as we're planning for it mm -hmm. but I can tell you that um, when these five competitors arrive in Indianapolis they're going to be treated just like our other three teams the Pacers the Fever and uh -huh. the Mad Ants yeah. they're going to be part of the Pacers sports and entertainment family and they're going to be representing our Pacers eSports team. Very so. good. Kelly Kroskoff with the Pacers Sports and Entertainment. The NBA 2K League, again, I think it's a fascinating story. We'll be following it going Thanks. forward. Look Thanks, forward Kelly. It.